Hi, so I'm going to try to make this a really short video because we're wrapping up the Wikipedia project. And so what I've done is consolidated weeks seven and eight in the class so that you don't have to jump around. I just added a thing or two to week seven, retitled it week seven and eight, and that way you don't have to go back and forth between a couple of different blocks because we're really just continuing where we were at in week seven. So let me show you what's there. I'm going to show you in the CIS 650 class, and it's going to be almost the same in 136 with one exception, and I'll, and I'll explain what that is. So like I said, now you're going to see that it says week 7 and 8, so let's open that up. Pretty much all the same stuff, except for I added this section, because we're getting ready to move our work live to the Wikipedia main space, and this is the exciting part, okay? And so once you get the go-ahead from Brianda, once she looks at your revisions, answers all of your questions, helps with any last-minute details, and says, it's okay, go, then you get to move it to the main space. Now, I'm going to jump over to the WikiEDU site in just a second, because you want to make sure you follow all the correct guidelines for doing that so that at the very last minute we don't like goof up the process. But don't panic, like if it goofs up, there's nothing that can't be fixed, okay? So we'll get it going, we'll get it right. If something messes up, post your team channel so that, um, and tag Brianda and tag me so that we can make sure to see it and see if we can help you get it straightened out, okay? So just, it's not critical, it's not mission critical, it's not gonna kill anything. But once it's there, once it's live, once it's published, once you can send the link to your friends, something might happen, okay? It's out there in the Wikipedia world, so your work might get challenged. Somebody might look at it, one of the other editors, and say, you know, we're not quite sure. Is this person notable enough? Um, are there enough resources? We didn't like how this was phrased. Like, who knows, right? It could be a whole bunch of things, okay? There's a lot of reasons your work could get challenged. Um, if that happens, don't panic, okay? Don't, um, don't freak out. Like, things can get fixed. And even if they revert it, which means they kind of take it off, I can still see it. Brianna can still see it. Like, we can still see the work that got done. So that's not a big deal. And my goal isn't that you get it published. That's just a nice outcome. You've already probably reached my goals for the project if you've been working actively um, to get it to the point where it can be published. So if it's at the point where it can be published, you've already done the hard stuff, which is really good. Anyhow, so the point is, if somebody says something or they post to the talk page um, and it's something that seems reasonable, you know, just fix it. It's not a big deal. If it's something that you're not sure about, then ask a question. But there is some etiquette here. So just make sure you're polite. Assume that they're operating in good faith. They're not trying to mess you up. Right? They're trying to make this better for the global community that will be accessing it. Don't just delete, like if they make some changes or something, don't just delete what they did and revert back because that'll just start the whole cycle over. You know, ask a question. Discuss the content on the talk page. That's what the talk page is for. And if you don't understand, you know, just say, hey, you know, I wasn't quite sure about this. Just like when I got tagged for being a Wikipedia spammer. You remember that a couple of weeks ago? On the talk page, they posted this thing and they said, kind of like, you better take this down or we're going to block you. Yeah, right. And I just asked the questions, you know, because so where was this? And I don't, you know, how does this work? And let me go fix this. We just had a nice little conversation. And by the end of it, I could tell that they respected the fact that I really wanted to make the change and I just didn't know how. And so they helped me understand. And it was a really good experience. And so don't make any personal attacks or anything. The link that I got this from is from the editing Wikipedia brochure. And it's kind of towards the end, page 14, revised based on feedback. So that's kind of where we're at at this point, right? We're revising based on feedback. And um, yeah, like this little bubble says, up on your, up on when you're logged in, you gotta be logged in. But when you're logged in, if somebody's posted something to your talk page, you'll see this little notification that will let you know that, hey, you know, go check that. So this is a really good resource. The other really good resource is in week seven. And I'm going to just jump. You can scroll down, but I'm just going to jump to the resources page. In week seven, there is this moving group work live tutorial, basically a training. And if you click that, it's only 10 minutes. 
and you, and you should go all through all of it. And you might have gone through all of it, but the point I, part I'm going to focus on is this whole part. Oops, I made a mistake, or what happens now? You know, oops, I made a mistake. You know, don't worry about it. It'll get fixed. We can we can make sure that happens. But what happens? You know, and it talks about the things I was just talking about. The page is live. Anybody can find it, which means other Wikipedians can stop by and take a look and either make some changes or make some challenges. And what's interesting is on the next page, did you get patrolled? So if you get a notification that your page is patrolled, that actually could be a really good thing. That means a Wikipedian stopped by, like an editor stopped by and marked it, meaning that they've looked at it and they think it's okay, or they've given some feedback so that other editors can realize that, hey, this page has been taken care of. Okay, so if you get patrolled, it's not really a bad thing. And it might take a while. You might not get, you know, the page might not get patrolled for, you know, days or weeks or months or ever. You don't know. But if you do, it's a good thing. Okay. And if your work is removed, again, I can see everything. I've got access to all of, you know, that's the cool thing about Wikipedia, right? There's a, a history, a change log. So we can still see all the things. But mostly don't add anything back unless you understand why it was taken out in the first place. And that's it. So that it just refers you back to the brochure. Okay. Um, so let me jump back over to this week. Um, the one thing, well, let me backtrack. The one thing both classes have to do to wrap this up is the team peer review and the final reflection and video presentation. And I talked about this last week. I, I, I believe I wasn't really clear on the difference between the final reflection and the video presentation. The video presentation is going to demonstrate, it's going to show what you learned, what resources you used, um, including your insights. And if you follow in the slideshow that goes with it, it'll give you an outline for kind of just a framework. Like you don't have to follow it exactly, but it, you know, you might not know what to talk about at all. Like I know I wouldn't. And so look at that outline. And if you basically follow the outline, for the presentation, the video presentation will be good. The final reflection lets you think deeper and um, explain what's going on in different categories. There's some different categories and some questions to give you an idea of what to go. Again, that's on the slide deck that goes with that assignment. And you'll find that when you click on that. The team peer reviews give me the inside view of how your team worked, okay? And so it helps me understand who did what and maybe people did stuff behind the scenes. I, I actually know that there's several people that did stuff behind the scenes that I couldn't see, but based on what other people on the team have told me, they provided a very valuable service to the team. I want to know about that so I can give you credit. And on the other hand, if somebody just really didn't show up and didn't come through or said they would do stuff and didn't, I want to know about that too, because that's all part of the individual grade. And nobody else will see that except for me. So don't worry about anything. Okay, that's just a private thing between you and I. Now, for CIS 50, there's one additional thing. Because CIS 36, this is going to be the wrap. This is going to be the end. And I'll post out another message to your class next week so you understand how we're going to, you know, what to expect as far as final grades and all that. Um, but CIS 50... We're going into a whole other half of the semester and we're going to switch gears because we're mostly done with the Wikipedia project. So I want to know what topics you're interested in. All right. So this is a really simple, you know, form, quick and easy. CIS 136 did a similar thing actually about two or three weeks ago. And so there's five topics, the digital divide, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, biotechnology, and creativity. And we're going to talk about those, or we could talk about those. We might not have time to talk about all of them. So I want to do them in the order that people are most interested as best I can. So you're just going to take these five topics, rank them first, second, third, fourth, fifth, only one per column. Like if I try to do two things in a column, it's going to give me a little like, hey, you can't do that. So that's good. You can't rank them all third or something, right? And as best I can... I will take the most popular topics first, and if we get to all of them, great, but read the little description I have up above, and um, then you'll understand, and you give me some selections. So I'm really excited, because we're like right down, this is a big project, and I was in a, a Wikipedia instructor meeting this morning, and they were talking, we were talking about this, 
And people are pretty excited about what you guys are working on. And I'm pretty excited about it. And Brianda's super excited about it. So it'll be good. It'll be good. Don't panic. You've already hit all the outcomes. Like I said, if you've been participating and doing your best and asking questions and, and contributing to your team, you've probably already hit all the outcomes I'm looking for. So from here on out, it's just, you know, polish it up, make it look pretty, do the feedback, get it posted, you know, get it published. Um, and then we'll see what happens. I'm really curious if it gets reverted or, you know, if something happens, I want to know about it. Let me know about it for sure, because I'm learning about this too. Anyhow, next time I'll probably be posting from Australia. Um, so that's kind of exciting and I might look a little jet lagged. So I apologize for that in advance, but I will send out another video at some point, probably later next week. Anyhow, have a really great weekend. Have a happy Easter if you celebrate that and let's get this done.